this is Mary Beth, the Jersey Girl Crafts. Welcome to my channel. If you are an existing viewer, I want to thank you for coming back. If you are a new viewer, I want to thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoy the podcast. It's not a lot today. I have, um, my podcast is all about yarn, knitting, crocheting, along with some sewing. Um, I live in New Jersey with my boyfriend and my four cats. I try and podcast at least once a month and I don't know what else to say. I live about 10 minutes from the beach, um, Point Pleasant. I'm about 15 minutes, give or take, from Seaside, New Jersey. And growing up I was a beach baby. Love the beach, love the water. Um, now I don't go to the beach as often, but I still like walking on the beach in the winter, in the fall. Um, the waves sitting on the boardwalk. It's really peaceful and calming. So I have a few things to go over today. I only have one completed item, but it is something I am so proud of. I believe I showed it a little bit last podcast, but I'm not sure. It took me about a week because I work full time. Um, so I just worked on it like at night after work, but I finished my black sweater. It's by Tin Can Knits. Mm, it's coming out a little brighter than it really is. And the flax sweater was actually a long sleeve sweater. And I made a little short sleeve. Yeah, I have to do the ends here. But uh, this is my very first top down sweater. And I loved it. It's a free pattern, like I said, by Tecan Knits. And it's one by one ribbing for here. And then the sleeves have this really cute knit one row, purl one row down the sleeve. And then simple ribbing here. And then there. So it was such an easy knit. I was nervous about it. But I actually um, watched, oh, who did I watch? Let me look, sorry. Um, I had her video up and I don't know what happened to it. Michael, oh. make a sorry, give me one minute and I can tell you the video I watched, which was amazing. It was Simply in Stitches, and she has a whole tutorial on how to make the flax sweater. It was very easy to follow. <coughs> so I would read the directions and then um, follow the video. And like I said, it was really an easy knit, even for, I think, a beginner. Um, not very beginning but as long as you know how to knit in the round, follow the pattern or tutorial, and you know how to knit and purl, you could definitely do this little sweater. It's supposed to, this one is supposed to fit a size two to four. And I have a little mannequin, which is a two T. And this is a little bit big on the mannequin. So I would say this came out probably to a 3T. And I liked the pattern so much that I, oh, and this is where my pattern is living right now. Um, and I just highlighted everything, all the size I'm making. And let me show you. The front page it is like I said it's a free pattern so I'm not really giving anything away but it's the flax sweater and there it is long sleeved um she has the most wonderful sizes from zero to six months is the first size and all the way up to a 4x 
the sweater I made, which was a two to four year, was 440 yards. And what I used was Loops and Threads Impeccable in the color Coral. And there was, I was pretty on gauge. They say to use a six circular and a US eight. I used a seven rather than eight and I got gauge. This yarn has, it's 100% acrylic and it has 285 yards. So I don't know how I got the sweater out of this when it says 440. I don't know, but the sweater, maybe because I didn't do long sleeve, but that shouldn't make much of a difference because I think it's a three quarter sleeve. So I don't know. Um, oh, I'm lying. Maybe I followed the wrong one. Maybe I did a one to two year old. <gasps> which is a 310 no i think i did the other one what good am i but here there's the whole family wearing the same sweater and no supposedly i did two to four year old a one to two year old would be 310 so i'm wondering if i actually did the wrong size I don't know, but it comes out to about a 3T what I did. Um, what else do I have to say about it? Like I said, it was a great knit and I liked it so much. Again, my pattern's living in here, little pattern holder. I think two episodes ago, I showed this pattern holder and living in my Tanny Casey bag which I love. I am making another one. This one is for my mother. And I'm, for the first time using Feels Like Butter, Butter, by Lion Brand. And it's, the name is Charcoal. It's 590 yards. If that focuses, yep, focusing, yay. This is the softest yarn I have ever touched I think it's 100% polyester and I am knitting that this on my I want to say knitters pride medleys circular needles and I am here's the sleeve and the other sleeve I'm doing size medium large and I can't pull it too much. I don't want it to come off the needles. But this is going to be the softest sweater. I can't wait to do it for my mom. Um, I think I messed up on the sleeve a little bit here. Maybe not. No, I think that's just the way it should be. So, like I said, it's an easy knit. I wanted to do it again right away. I felt comfortable doing it again. And following Simply in Stitches, her tutorial, she has actually a couple of tutorials with sweaters, and I plan on definitely following her again to do another sweater. So that is one of my whips, and then, oh, sorry, I went into whips. The next whip is living in this bag that I got from Happily Hooked when I joined. A lot of patterns on Happily Hooked. I'm very, lots of patterns on Happily Hooked. I was very happy with the patterns on there. I haven't tried any yet. I am doing by Cherry Heart, Sandra Paul, the Cherry Heart, the Battenberg Blanket. And it's the Battenberg, it's because the Battenberg um, 
cake, I guess it is. And here's the blanket. It is actually a free pattern. And so far, I only have two. I didn't just pull that. No. I only have two knit up so far or crocheted up. It's all crocheted. Um, there's one of them. This is this yarn. I'm using all my minis. And the next mini I'm going to do, I'm going to do about maybe six or seven of those before I'm tired of the color. And then I think I'm going to try this color. It's coming out a little brighter than it is. This is Fiber Rarium Conservatory Sock Mini Bright Superwash Merino Wool 10% Nylon and it's hand dyed in Harrisburg, PA. There is 20 grams of it. And it's called Surf. I think I might have gotten this when I went to Allentown Fiber Festival in PA last year. I was picking up mini skeins from like everywhere. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And then let me show you what I did. I was so excited. I've got these ornaments over by my futon. Oh, and by the way, new setup. I'm back into the old setup where I have all my little yarn here, the good yarn, and my TV is up here. My computer is over here, nice window over there. So I moved things around a little bit. But I have these ornaments, which are just pretty much, I'll show you. I have bigger ones over by the futon. But this is the ornament. And it literally folds up, and this comes off for storage. And living in here are all these minis that I've either collected from Etsy shops or yarn shows. And I just have all kinds of little minis in here that I'm going to put in. The blanket and I'm not sure what color I'm gonna do because in between every color um, square you put a solid and I don't know if I'm gonna do an off-white or a gray but I have a lot of gray in my little minis so I'm thinking maybe off-white is what I might put in it gray would match better in the room but I'll have to see. So I'm still working on the socks for my niece. Haven't gotten anywhere with those. Um, new stuff I got. Michael's finally opened and I was able to go in. And Joanne Fabric finally opened and I was able to go in. And I've got, besides all the yarn back here and the bins over there, I just bought myself this whole bag of yarn and I pretty much because I love that sweater so much the flax sweater I bought enough to make sweaters quantities so I got another one of the impeccable or impeccable yeah impeccable I got now I can't tell you what store I bought what from some of them I can. Any of the loops and thread are going to be definitely Michael's. Um, but the rest of it, I'm not sure where I bought them. Because I went from store to store. I got the loops and thread cream cotton. It's 432 yards. And it's 87 cotton, 13 nylon. I got this. Look at that color. It's so beautiful. And the color is just light gray. It is so beautiful. 
and I wanted to make this one for my mom. But when I went back to Michael's, they didn't have any more of these. So I went to, that was the Michael's where I, work, I live. Then I went in town over down to Tom's River and I went to that Michael's and they didn't have any of these either. So that's when I found the gray that I actually started and I got two feels like butter and all of these were on sale. Anything I bought was on sale and this is called ice glaze. I got two of those and I think that should be good for a sweaters quantity. It's 590 yards and I know it's a thousand one hundred yards for a medium large sweater so this would be another sweater that would either fit my niece not my sister because she's a little busty uh, but definitely my mother and my niece let me move the keyboard off the desk as I take the yarn out so these I definitely got in Michaels because they didn't I didn't see these in Joann's at all, so I don't think they carry feels like butter. Um, this is the other gray that goes with the sweater I'm making my mom. And then in Michael's, I guess I am remembering, they actually had the Red Heart Super Saver. And I got, what color? Carbon. So I got two of these. These were on sale for like, I think less than $2. I got one of these will like thick and quick in the color fern. I think those are such pretty colors that would make I think such a really pretty like just cowl or a hat um nice bulky one I don't know what I'll make with it I just really like the colors and this was like in the bargain bin at I want to say Joann's I believe Joann's it was like bargain bin nothing I got was over three dollars in Joann's yeah the feels like butter was $5.99 in Michaels so that was a good price they normally go for $9.99 um found that receipt then I got Heartland isn't that beautiful color and the colorway is, oh my gosh, I can't see it. Cayuga Valley. I'm probably saying that wrong. I don't know if you can see it. But this was on sale for $2.47 in the bargain bin at Joann's. So I got three. another sweaters quantity I don't usually buy sweater quantity because I never really made sweaters until now now I'm just kind of hooked on a sweater now I want to do a couple of these when I'm done with that I want to try a little something a little more challenging maybe with like maybe a lace work I don't know um what else did I get These are Michael's. I think I only got four of these, which are a loops and thread, impeccable, and the color name is Walnut Tweed. Can you see the tweed or is the light hitting it wrong? But you see the tweed in there. And there it is. And 
and it's impeccable. There are how many yards? It's 97 acrylic and 3% other fiber, it says. 190 yards. I don't know why I only got four. I don't think this is what a quantity. Maybe for a baby. Um, then I got, just because, oh, how much was this? I don't know. But I think in Michael's, this was only a couple of dollars. Maybe a dollar and change. Then I got for $5 a Karen Big Cake. And the color is... Cookie Crumble. I don't know if you can see it. Cookie Crumble. So it's got pretty like beige, beigey color in here. And blacks and grays. I thought it was really pretty. I'm not sure what I'll make in that. But it was $5. This is what you get because I don't go shopping for so long. Sorry about the light behind me. I probably should not have put that on. Oh, I guess I got three of the coral. Then I got more loops and thread from Michael's Joy DK in the colorway Blossom. So nice, pretty pink. Hmm. Maybe that color. There are 273 yards in this. And the Joy DK is obviously a three weight. And I think it's all acrylic. I'm almost positive it's acrylic. But yeah. So that's the Joy DK. I really like working with this yarn. I have a lot of different colors of it. I got three of those. And more Joy DK in, I believe it's just black. Nope, ink. The color weight is ink. Again, Joy DK. Got two of those. And they were having a, like, whew. I remember buying these and they were kind of expensive. But they, I think they were like $2 this time. And then I got, which was schemed a little differently. Um, the Joy DK in a green and the color is leaf. You can see it. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's working there. I got two of those. This is coming out a lot darker. Mm, this is a little bit more of the shade back here. Let me see if you can see the color with this. There, it's a number three, and there is 273 yards. Still a little bit darker. But, yep, I got two of those. And then the last ones. Actually, last one is another Joy DK and this color is Cloud. They only had one of the gray or cloud so I grabbed it. You can always use gray. So yeah that was my purchases in Michael's and I only went back to Michael's. I went to the Michael's and Tom's River only to get 
one of these because I knew they didn't have any more in the brick in the brick one. I live in Brick, New Jersey. Um, they didn't have any more of these. So that's why I went to Tom's River online. It said they had like three more. So I only went to get that. I wound up with a lot more. And then going to Joann's. Finding that they were open. And buying a lot more. And of course I had a 25% off entire purchase from Joann's. I get up to the register only to find out that's online. Not in the store. So, I didn't get that bargain that I thought I was going to get. But, I have a lot of yarn to go through. So, I have to just keep working at my sweater. And use it up. Because, I'm running out of room in this house. For all of my yarn. Um, what else? Oh, I never showed you, I don't think, on one of my podcasts. I had found this on Etsy and thought it was the greatest idea. It's um, Hat Maker Templates by Izzy Hat Tools, I-Z-Z-Y, Hat Tools, by BB Crochet Company on Etsy. And this are hat templates. You make your hat and a hat when you're crocheting it, of course, just as a circle in the beginning because you're doing from the crown down. So you do it until you fill all of this in with the crown and right here should be the hole of where you started with your magic loop. And when you get done with that, when it fills this and the hole is right here, then you start going straight and not increasing anymore, and you fill this. They have, the sizes are preemie two pounds, all the way up to extra large adult. So, I know it came in child size and then it came in adult, or you could get the whole complete. But um, they're numbered, just perforated numbers right here and here and here. So then when you come onto your list, you look at what number is on the, the um, template and you know what size. And she gives you the centimeters or the inches. It's like really amazing and I love it. I have not used one yet. I can't wait to use one. But now I'm in sweater mode. I was in sock mode prior. Um, so yeah, I had gotten that and I thought it was amazing. And I can't wait to use them. I have them on a hook right here. So they're easy to grab while I'm sitting at my desk working. Excuse me one minute for a drink. I got my, my cup full of iced tea. I worked all day from 7 o'clock this morning till 5.15 tonight at the office, not at home. And tomorrow is another long day because it's the end of the month and I do medical billing. I am a supervisor for payment posting. And end of the month is really, really busy for me trying to get all the money in. Um, I just want to go over a few people that I like to watch. I'm looking at the camera here and I should be looking over here. Sorry. So, some of the people I like to watch on YouTube are Old Soul, Old Soul Crochet. Um, she's amazing. She does Amagurumi with the big brunette blanket yarn. And I have a few of her patterns. I've tried a few of her patterns. I've showed them on podcasts before. She's amazing. Um... 
Tin Can Knits, the video by Sim Simply in Stitches. Uh, like I went over before, she has really great videos on a couple of different items. Um, some are Tin Can Knits, some are not. Hannah from the Cozy Cottage. Love, love, love her. She's out of Florida. She crochets and she knits. And she is so easy to listen to. And she's just entertaining. And I could sit back and knit or crochet while watching her. I just really enjoy her podcast. I can sit there and just listen to her. Um, so she tells you, you know, about different yarns she uses. And she has, I think right now she has three cows going on. So check her out. Go to her podcast. She is wonderful. Um, because I'm getting into sewing again. So very easy. Great podcaster. Um, she's got a YouTube channel with a lot of different sewing stuff on it. Bull and Vine. I've been watching her for a while. Um, I love watching her. I love watching her knitting and she's getting in, into so much sewing this past year, maybe a year and a half. Um, she's doing so many historic things or vintage things. She just did a walking skirt, um, which was beautiful. I mean, she just does all these really old beautiful things that if I was thinner I probably would wear because I love that stuff I was really born too late um stranded podcast I just found her podcast Amy Florence she is so funny I love watching her and I know other podcasters had mentioned her look at this hair um They've mentioned her a couple of times and they said so many nice things about her. And for some reason, I just never found her until recently. Um, but I'm really enjoying watching her. And Corner of Craft. I love her. I love watching her. I think her name is Hannah also. I think. I'm really bad with names. I'm so sorry. She's so much fun to watch and she has, I think, purple hair right now. She's had blue hair, um, but she's great to watch. She knits beautifully. She has uh, Chromatic Yarn. is her yarn dyeing company. She's out of the UK and she makes beautiful stitch markers. And for the first time, I was so excited. I never get to jump on and get her shop updates but I finally got on there and got a stitch marker um I wasn't even picky on what stitch marker I just wanted it I got her bag with corner craft on it and I got some I think I got fingering weight yarn so I can't wait to get them in the mail I'm sure mail is going to take a little while right now with everything going on um Blue Cherub 82, Kim, been watching her forever. I feel like I've watched her kids like grow up at this point. She's wonderful to watch. She does so many amigurumi. Um, she does a lot of the old soul crochet amigurumi, which is really nice. Um, she has a lot of the amigurumi books that I have. So there's many times that she'll do something and I'll go, oh, I have that book you know I need to go in there and try it uh, so yeah she she's bad I watch her and if there's a book I don't have I want it oh, my battery's gonna die so this has to go fast um, Angelina Angela Jasmina she actually has a podcast and she does um, embroidery I do have an embroidery machine and I have done embroidery in the past. I love doing it, but she is so, she's young and she has two kids and she has her, like two businesses. She just is one of those that when you listen to her and talk to her, I'm going, how does she have so much energy? And like, it gives me the energy to push. 
myself, which I'm trying to do. Um, the last one I'll mention today, so this will be 10 people I watch, Debbie Shore. Debbie Shore has a sewing channel. She has really wonderful patterns um, that are easy to follow on her tutorials. And if you like to sew or, you know, if you're a beginner sewer or novice, whatever, definitely check her out because she has a wonderful podcast where you can understand what she's saying and everything is laid out for you. So I haven't made anything yet that she's done. I just keep watching her as I'm knitting because I wanted to get done with that baby sweater. So I kind of did like uh, a marathon. I just went through a lot of her stuff and listened to it and um, got ideas of what I wanted to do and did like and save and watch for later um, as I did that baby sweater. And now I'm doing my mom's sweater. So my mom's sweater is going to take up a lot of my time. I still want to finish my niece's socks and I still have the other pair of socks on the needle, but they are actually in the car in the van um because i used to do that at work during my lunch hour but i only go in two days of work a week and i usually don't take lunch i usually just eat at my desk go out maybe have a cigarette i know dirty habit shouldn't be doing it but for now when i'm at work i do and then i always take off the clothes that i went to work in and put them right in the washer because I hate the smell of smoke on my clothes. I usually quit smoking and if I do it's like for a year or six months or whatever and then if I'm really stressed out I'll go back to smoking. Usually I mean a pack of cigarettes will last me two or three days so I don't smoke a lot. I just smoke when I'm really stressed. I know still not a reason to smoke but until I quit again, right now it's very stressful at work. So I'll be smoking during my lunch at work and probably one on the way to work and one on the way home from work. And that's pretty much it. Um, I try not to smoke in the van, but sometimes I do. But like I said, I'm a stressful eater and a smoker. All right, let me go because I hear my doorbell and that means the pizza's here. Have a wonderful night. Thank you if you lasted this long through the whole podcast and I hope to see you again soon. Today is, I probably should have said that, June 29th and it is 7.30 at night. And yes, I'm just getting pizza now because no one felt like cooking. Have a wonderful evening and a happy 4th of July because I probably won't have another podcast before 4th of July. Um, maybe I will because I probably won't be going out, but I don't even know if I'll have anything to show you at that point. So have a wonderful 4th of July if you're in the States and you celebrate. Enjoy the fireworks if you're able to see them where you are. A lot of them have been canceled around here. And thank you again for joining me and I hope to see you again. Bye.